Hi everyone, this is Brad. Today we're going to take a look at using the Kami extension primarily in Google Classroom and we're going to look at it from a teacher point of view as well as a student point of view. So make sure you add the extension, go through the sign up process and then go into your Google Classroom. Once you do that, make sure you select Classwork and then you want to create a Kami assignment. If you don't see Kami assignment come up, close your browser and come right back into it. You're going to see your options right up in here and I'm just going to call it Kami and I'll give instructions a sample. You can see your points and due dates and so on and so forth as well as your topic. Go ahead, add what you need to and then you can see your options to upload. So I'm going to go into my Google Drive and I know one that I want to use already. Give it a little bit of time for it to load. So here it is. And what we're going to do, the default is to make a copy for each student. Highly recommend, but you can see there are other options as well. And we're going to select a sign. And then I'll show you what it looks like from a student point of view. Okay, so I'm in as a student. And now we're going to go ahead into classwork. We're going to go ahead and select the PDF right here. And you'll see that they're to open it up with Cami. You'll notice right away that on the left hand side there are all the options. Here's a PDF right here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to scroll down and I'd like this read aloud. So I'm just going to select right here. You can see there's text to speech and I'm going to just Read select the right there. Message about protecting the environment. Then answer questions. Okay, there are other options to change the voice, speed it up, so on and so forth. If they'd like they could mark some things up. So if they want to highlight something, they could go ahead and they could certainly do that if they would like to do that. It's up to them. You can see your other options as well. There's some to comment. So if they had a comment, what they could do is go ahead and let's just say they want to highlight this right in here. And maybe they had a question for you or maybe even themselves. So if they just go ahead and select right there, you can see that my voice is being recorded right now. And that leaves a nice audio uh, for you, the teacher, or for them to go back to later on. Now, let's go ahead down and let's show what Kames used a lot for is just answering some questions. So they like to have this question right in here and they like to circle a specific answer. What they could do is they could do a drawing and then you can see the different thickness. If you're going to be circling, I'd recommend like two or so. And then you can see the different colors and let's just pretend that's the right answer. You can go ahead and do that. There are other ones where the different shapes as well. So if they wanted to go ahead and they wanted to do this, they could certainly do that as well, which is kind of nice. If a mistake is made, they can go back and they can erase if you'd like to. They can go ahead and just do that by clicking or selecting on it. One more item just real quickly to point out is the text box especially if they're going to put their name on this, they can go ahead through. You can see the different font sizes. Let's just choose 24 for right now, as well as your color palettes. Let's just, uh, let's make it green. Why not? And where they go ahead and select right up in here is where their name is going to be populated. You can see your options up here as well. So you can see it's right there. Now when they're ready in the upper right, they can go ahead and turn it in. So let's go ahead and do that. You can see this information in here. And as a student, they're going to select Turn In. And now I'll show you what it looks like from a teacher point of view. Okay, so I'm back in as a teacher, and I'm going to go into my grades. When I do that, I'm going to see that student test has turned this in. The student's turned it in. So I can see right in here, I can return it. I can view the submission, which I'd like to do. So I'm going to go ahead, view the submission. Okay, here it is. And you can see it's going to open up in Cami. So I can go ahead through. I can see right in here. And I can also see, if I just move this over, I can press play. And select right there. I myself can leave a reply. So I can just go ahead in and type that in. Or, as you can see, I could leave one myself. I could even do some voice typing, which is nice. All right. Now, if I'd like, if I see something, if I scroll down here and I notice that the student answered letter A, and let's pretend I have no idea, but let's just say it's C. What I can do is I can come over here and if I want to leave a little bit of a voice comment, I can select voice comment and I can just click here. 
it's a hey. Just remember, the actual answer is not A. It's actually C because, and then you can give your example. Select stop. Now you have left that for the student, which is pretty cool. Um, you could also leave a video comment if you'd like to do that. You can type a text box in, so on and so forth. But you can see how you could instantly give some great feedback right away if you'd like to do that. Of course, you can always see these options up here to return it to them if they'd like to. Um, but that is entirely up to you. Now I'll go back and show you what it looks like from the student point of view if I go ahead and I select return. Okay, so it's been returned. A student could go ahead into classwork and they can select view assignment. And then this is always, again, where they're going to see private comments. So I didn't leave any private comments uh, specifically in Google Classroom. But what the student could do is go in and they can see it's returned. They could go ahead and click on, click on the PDF. They can scroll down now and they can see. Oh, I did not open it with Cami. that's why. So that was my mistake. I apologize for that. If they scroll down a little bit, here it is. They can go ahead, press play. Here. Say, hey, just remember the actual... Okay, so, and that specifically goes with this right in here. So they'll, they will notice that right there, which is really nice. Uh, nice to see, nice to have. So, and then here too is... The reply that you made built into Cami, the student can go ahead and resubmit it right in here. So there you go. If you do have any questions, uh, please reach out. Let me know. Thanks for watching. Take care. Bye bye.